come here. You know you can't knock the hustle. It's the way that we play. It's just another sunny day in California. It's hey. just another sunny day. What's up, fam, bam? Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to the RBG fam channel. My name is Robert, AKA ODM. I'm Vanessa, AKA Vina. And we're the RBG fam. Robert, Vanessa Gutierrez with our lovely three beautiful kids, Elijah, Layla, and Amaya, all ending with the letter A-H's. A-H, that's my idea. <laughs> so if this is your first time here, hey, welcome, man. We're the family, you know, we're based here. Southern California, you know what I mean? Corona to be exact, the IE. You know, and like they always say, you always gotta invite people to the party. This might be their first vlog, baby. Yeah, welcome, welcome at this. And boy, what a time to come in right now, cause <laughs> things have happened. And if you missed the last couple of vlogs, go back and watch them. It's an interesting time for us right now, but uh, every day's challenging for a lot, right? Yep, always. And, but the good thing is we got each other. Mm -hmm. Give me key, babe. Oh shoot, I want another one, hold on guys. <laughs> Good morning, fam bam. It's another day. Um, I just woke up, took a shower. I am not feeling well, and I'm really sad. So I don't know if you guys remember, the week before Robert was sick, and then last week the baby was sick, and now it's just floating around the house. Mommy has it now. Like, I don't feel like really bad where I have to like lie down all day. Um, and besides, I can't lie down all day. <laughs> this is uh, one of the reasons I can't lie down all day. Ah, you're gonna put your foot in your food. <laughs> Eat. Are you done? I do feel like I have like a little stuffy nose and my throat is a little sore. My body feels like a little sore, but I, I don't feel like completely knocked out where I'm just like, I have to lay down. I don't know about you, but I usually, if I'm sick, I try to take a shower. I mean, I take a shower in the morning regardless, every morning. But I think when you're sick in the morning, you're always like the worst in the morning. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get up. I feel like crap right now, but I'm gonna take a shower. I just feel like, you know, the steam and everything just kind of opens up your lungs and stuff. And it did make me feel a lot better. I just took some Sudafed right now. And I'm like, I probably shouldn't have my coffee, but I'm gonna have it anyways, because I need that. Today is actually a very, very special day. Special and fun for Elijah. Today is Elijah's first ever school field trip. This kid was so excited he woke up extra early. I believe he woke up like at 5.45. I usually wake up at 6, shower, wake him up at 6.30. So yeah, he cannot wait. <laughs> How excited are you, Elijah? Really, really. really excited. Are you excited as that hole in your pants? No. <laughs> I swear, you guys, my kid, I don't have like a pair of pants that do not have holes in them. I'm just like, you know what? You're going to a field trip. You're going to be walking around. Where are you going? I'm to the dairy. He's going to a dairy. I'm like, okay, we can put holes in his pants. That's fine. Like dairy the shop. teacher was like, you know, not no new shoes, no new clothes. They don't want him like, you know, getting them dirty in the dirt or mud or whatnot. And of course they wanted him to wear his uh, class shirt. So yeah, you're so cool, dude. Excited? All right, let's uh, comb your hair, brush your teeth and hit the road, Jack. Turn around. What is this? A soda coke poop emoji? <laughs> what do you have in your backpack? Come on, dude, I gotta go. Oh, my hair. We're not taking this whole little stroller and stuff for hair, girl. She about to take it too. Watch. <laughs> oh my god, this is the first time she's ever done this. This is the freaking cutest thing ever. Good girl, mommy. <laughs> so I put. Go over here my and tell me. My food is here. Uh huh. Water. Uh huh. And that's it. Food, water, and your jacket. Where's your jacket? Amaya, you silly girl. What are you doing? Did you find it? Oh, and. In my hat. Your Rams hat? Mm hmm. That's dope, dude. Let's go. Oh. Pfft. Uh oh. Amaya. <gasps> Babies. Babies, what happened? Oh. Your baby fell. You let your stroller go. Uh-oh. Uh, Coco Melon down. 
<laughs> Why did you take your shoes off? We need to get out. Come on. I'm gonna show you at you guys. Say hi, baby. Maya always takes her shoes off. Yay. She needs a bath this morning. You gonna go home and take does. a bath? No. All right, my guy, my girl. My guy, you ready for your first ever field trip? How do you feel? How do you feel? Bad. Bad? <laughs> Good. I'm super excited for you. I have so much, I hope you have so much fun. I love you. Love you more. 2859 Careful, because there's a car right here. You ready? Yeah. Have a good day. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, fam bam. So I'm home alone. Robert left me. No, just kidding. Uh, Robert just left right now. Just kind of been hanging out all day. Um, I had a couple epoxy tumblers to finish. So I was in the garage kind of working on those. Um, and now I'm inside getting the rest of my sublimation tumblers finished so I can have another sale this week. I'm super excited. I'm really happy that you guys like these tumblers. It just uh, gives me a little incentive to like make more. You know, it makes me happy that you guys like them. I get, I've been getting so many messages. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to make more. Hopefully I can have some at least every weekend, if not every other weekend. Little girl stays watching Coco Melon. Nah, she watches a lot of different things on YouTube. What are you doing? Nice. Where'd you go today? Delilah's house to go swimming. Yeah, and then he's back. And two more days we're gonna go to the desert. No, we're not going to the desert, babe. we're going camping. Where? To the mountains. Are we gonna stay there? Yeah, we're gonna stay in Grandma's trailer. So yeah, we are going camping this weekend. We're not gonna take our trailer because we also have uh, Robert's Mystery Lotta Rumble is gonna be Saturday and we have another event to go to, birthday party, on Saturday night. Um, we're probably just gonna stay with my parents Friday, head up Friday afternoon, take the kids, you know, they wanna go camping, they already know, our, all, my whole family's going, well, like our camping crew's going and stuff. We're gonna be going to Mountain Lakes. I haven't been to Mountain Lakes for a minute. It's over up underneath the like a home pass on the 15 freeway. Unfortunately, we do have to leave Saturday morning, which is why we're not gonna take our trailer, like we're not gonna take our trailer for like one night, that'd be like really strange. Stupid, you know? So yeah, we do have like a busy weekend ahead. Yeah. Ladies walking by looking at me in my front. <laughs> Side note, we are going to a birthday party, kind of last minute, Saturday night. Happy birthday to Justin, the big 4-0. If you guys don't know who Justin is, he's from AV Chevy. He's the one who hooked us up with my beautiful Traverse. Go check him out. It's like a Studio 54 type like 70s theme. So I'm like, oh my God, it's like a theme. Like I got to dress up. So I text my girl Nikki, uh, Concrete's wife, like, girl, what are you wearing? Um, so yeah, I'm trying to find something to wear right now. It's super last minute. I'm like, should I order Amazon? I hate ordering like dresses from Amazon because I don't know if they fit. Like I'm like really weird picky with clothes. Like I just can't order stuff from like any website. Like I have to go and try clothes on. You guys know what I'm thinking. I gotta hit up Windsor. <laughs> Dude, Windsor has been like my go-to place. I never really shopped a lot at Windsor. My mom like does a lot. And recently like with all of my skirts, I don't know, I just really, uh, I'm starting to like, like their clothes a little bit more. So I possibly may go head up Windsor tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can find something there. I might just put a sticker on my leg. What are you doing? Huh? Thank you, mommies. It's a thank you sticker. <laughs> So here's a little behind the scenes, you guys. This is a sublimation printer that I do currently use. It's the Epson Eagle Take 15,000. You want a color? I might love to come over here because she knows that the crayons are usually over here. She's starting to say mine. I don't like that. You need to share, Mama. She likes to color. Yay, mommies. Put I love you. I love you. Oh, beautiful. Good job, Mama. <laughs> so going back to this printer right here, I've had it, did I get this, like almost a year now? And I've been using it all totally wrong. And my girl Selena was like, girl, you need to download Photoshop and fix your printer. So it does take a long time to print. As you guys can see, it is going very, very slow, but it's because it's made, I, I had to like jailbreak it into like a sublimation printer, you know? Um, this isn't regular ink, it's sublimation ink that I have to fill in the tanks here. I really, really like this printer. At first I was a little pissed off about it because the way it was printed but it was just my fault. I just had to download Photoshop, you know? Um, so yeah, this is it guys. Printing very slow. So it takes some time. I usually print like three at a time and then I'll print like three more. But these are gonna be ready soon. Stay tuned.
What's up, fam bam? So without getting into too much, uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so, so much for all your support since the last vlog. I've been reading some of the comments and a lot of y'all, man, you guys are just, you guys are too much in a great way. The support, the amount of support that I'm getting, the pouring out of the, of the love and just the fact that you are with us for the ride. You know what I mean? Not just for my fa our family YouTube channel, but also just me. You know, as an artist you grew up with, as a jock on the radio station you grew up listening to here locally, I can't thank you enough for your tremendous support. Uh, I have been out and about. I've been, you know, having some phone conferences. I've been meeting with people and I wish I could tell you my next venture and how excited I am already. Cause you know, I can't wait. That's the main thing. You can't wait. Cause I really believe if, if you're out of sight, you're out of mind. And that really goes a long way. And it definitely makes sense. There are more Vidas coming. I'm making moves right now. Uh, it's just aligning my ducks in a row, so to speak. But I think with this next um, move here, it's gotta be a smart one. You know, I, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm pick and choose uh, wisely here as far as what my decision goes as far as the you know, business aspect you know I'm about to jump into because it's very it, it is it's critical you know especially um, having a family of a household of five the Lord is with me man that's my security right there I just love this new venture you know that uh, my wifey and I we're, we're pulling together you know we're, we're making it happen God has got our back and that's all that I could say within the last week we've actually managed to believe it or not how do I say this. I'm just gonna keep it 100. Got a severance pay, was cool. You know, what's gonna happen after that? So I do have to file for unemployment. That is one thing that obviously, I mean, I was getting a check for 20 some years. Hopefully, you know, within these next three months here with the severance that I got, something's gonna pop off. And I already know, man, I, I just feel it with your support. Like I said, this next move is going to be one for uh, the present and my future potentially. Like I said, I wish I can give you more, but just know that, um, things are about to come sooner than later so hey keep the positivity keep them rolling and keep watching our rbg fam because this is what's holding us up this is what's paying the bills too we don't get paid a whole lot from our vlogs i will be 100 percent with you it's not thousands of dollars guys but just know that it's enough to keep the lights on let's put it that way i mean even with this like we you know you'll see some of our sponsors in the beginning of some of our vlogs like some of those come and go and that's not guaranteed money this isn't even guaranteed money life's a hustle the more hustles i feel that i have secure you know our, our family will be because i've always been a true believer that that's what i've been since i was younger since i was 16 and this is all i know please follow me on instagram at the real odm and Facebook, The Real ODM as well. And I'll give you updates on there as to what my next venture is. I can't wait for you to be a part of it. I can't wait to share it. But again, everything is timing. Prep work is, you know, it's under construction right now. Let's put it that way. Next vlog is coming up. We're taking a trip to Mountain Lakes. Also, I had the show in Lake Paris. Michilada recently. That vlog's coming as well. Some video from there. And more updates on uh, my journey here to my next chapter in life as far as what I got going on in the works. We love you, fam bam. Be safe. A boy and girl, and that would equal me and you. Sharing dreams while caught up in this moonlight. I never argued and never once caused a fight. Respect was the main key to our relation. Going on trips and spending three-week vacations.